Should've got a haircut before this, dude. Welcome back to Best Man Made. I'm your guy, Mac. I'm so glad to be back in front of this camera talking to you guys. We gotta quit these long delays until, you know, the next video. I know. I know. So I'm gonna start stacking. I'm gonna start stacking. We'll get that done. But today, I wanted to give you something. I wanted to come back to an old theme with some new information. Today, I want to give you the best advice I've ever heard from the Combat Jack Show. What's the Combat Jack Show? How good is it? A podcast giving you good information like that? Trust me on this. I got tons to tell you. Roll it. All right, so I don't know how many of you guys know this or whatever, but I live in Washington, D.C. metropolitan area, so Northern Virginia side. Um, any of you that live in metropolitan areas, you know exactly what I mean when I say traffic is a beast. And it's only so many times you can turn on the radio and hear bad and bougie when you feel like, dude, I, I don't want to hear this anymore for the rest of my life. So a lot of times what I do is I do audiobooks, I do podcasts. I'm just a, I'm a podcast king right now. I just... I, I, I just, there's so many right now that I can pretty much go through. Um, but there's one in particular that just gives me what I need. Now listen, this is totally not, uh, what do you call it? This is not a sponsored advertisement, okay? I just happen to like the Combat Jackson. I already told you, I'm gonna give you what's real. The, the guy who does them is Reggio Say, he's with A-King. Um, he used to be with Premium Pete, all these different kind of people. but. But right now it's A King and it's, it's Reggio Say, and they, they basically interview a lot of hip hop heads, right? People that are, that, are, that are music makers, that are moguls, that are media icons, all this different type of stuff. And they talk about music, but most of the time, I don't know if it's because of like how his interviews are kind of like cute or the way he goes into it. He gets into music, but he always ends up giving you something more. So I wanna give you a few different people that he's interviewed, and I'm gonna give you some, some good little tidbits I've got from that. The first person I'm gonna talk about is my guy, Willie D. Now, Willie D is from a group called the Ghetto Boys. Now, if you don't know who the Ghetto Boys are, might be a little bit too young, please go back, Google Ghetto Boys. Now, when you, when you type in Ghetto Boys, you gotta type it in G-E-T-O Boys, because the Ghetto Boys were so hood, they named that joint G-E-T-O boys, the get O boys. They left the H and the other A T and they spelled it how they wanted. They spelled it ghetto. Alright? So the ghetto boys come out with a lot of tracks, a lot of albums. One of my favorite ones is My Mind is Playing Tricks on Me. I believe Willie D is the guy that says, uh, I make big money. I drive big cars. Everybody know me. It's like I'm a movie star. <laughs> but later that night. But something ain't right. I feel I'm being tailed by the same sucker's headlights. If you ain't heard it, it's just one of the joints. I mean, it, my mind's playing tricks on me. I mean, who does not know the words to that track? I mean, let's be real. Um, so if you're a hip-hop head, you love hip-hop, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you know, do something about that. Willie D said, once you know how the game is played, you can circumvent all the Beautiful. Once you know how the game is played, you can circumvent all the bull****. Now, what does he mean by that? Let's be real, okay? When Willie D says you can circumvent all the first of all, let's take this. Let's take this in the note. There is a game being played. I don't care how you look at it. Let's say whether you think it's the game of corporate America, whether it's the game of uh, you know boyfriend, girlfriend, dating, whatever it might be. Once you get that the, the, the game that's being played. That's the only way you can get around and know how to maneuver, knowing how to move in life. I love that quote, man. I think that a lot of times people don't take some things into, uh, into uh, their consciousness when they're, when they're trying to approach how to move in the world, right? The bullshit's gonna be there. To be able to get around it, you gotta know that there's a game being played. A lot of times people go in and talk about, oh, well, this ain't fair. Something ain't fair, or it shouldn't be like this. Listen. That's part of the game. These, there's, oh, there's rules to the game, whatever. There's certain nuances to the game, but once you understand that, you can circumvent all the bullshit, right? Another thing that Willie really details us is to avoid the traps. Avoid the traps, man. Listen, there's a lot of things out there that are set to make you fail. Anytime you're trying to do something unique, different, step outside the box, there's gonna be traps, and that's just, 
I don't care if you coming from a place of privilege, you coming from a place of uh, inferiority, superiority, whatever you want to say. A place of common, commonality, commonplace, doesn't really matter where you're coming from. The point is this, there are going to be traps and pitfalls to basically hinder you from getting what you're going to get to. So avoid those traps. Now, a lot of times you can see them coming a mile away. Okay, now the, the, next, the next artist that, uh, that comes to mind when I think about Combat Jack's show, some really good information, uh, was my man Fonte. Fonte from Little Brother, not only, not only is he from North Carolina, a fellow North Carolinian, but Fonte, and, and has Greensboro ties too at that, right? Go figure. But, but Little, Little Brother is just one of those groups, man, that not everybody knows about. It might not be in people's top three or top five, but when you hear it and you listen to their music, man, everybody respects their craft. Fonte is definitely one of my favorite artists, and, I, and I'll tell you, I mean, not only for a lot of different reasons. I mean, they give you hip hop, they give you all that kind of stuff, they give, it, they give you a certain feel to it, and I love that about it. But um, Fonte Fontigolo, you know, he comes in there and he says, one of his quotes was, ready, fire, aim. Good God. Ready, fire, aim. We don't normally think of it that way, right? We normally think of it as ready, aim, fire. Well, not to make it seem like everything gotta be a gun, you know, I'm just saying. That was what he said, ready, fire, aim. And he says it's because he follows up with his second line. Take a shot, wherever that, shot's, wherever that shot lands, build your target. So a lot of times I think, here's the issue. For any of y'all that are out there in your entrepreneurial mind, right? You want to get your own thing going. A lot of times you think, I got to go ahead and create this business plan. I got to, I got to make something. I got to, you know, tell people where I'm going to go, my goals, what I'm trying to build, what I'm trying to get. Man, a lot of that is just talk. When you actually are doing it and you walk in the walk, you need to act first. See what your actions have you do. Not to, not to follow Fonte's quote up with another quote, but I mean, if you think about Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson said, everybody got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. And it's true. It's so true. So a lot of times it's better just to fire and then aim. And once you, once you see what target you hit, and that's where you build yourself. You have to first take action and then see what comes out of that, okay? Quit building up all that plan. The plan is nice in theory and everything, but sometimes it takes you just to go ahead and act and then see what comes from that action, all right? All right, now, my third person that I'm gonna talk about some of the best quotes. I can't do these quotes number by number because it just don't go like that. It's better off me talking about the people, right? So the third person on the Combat Jack show that spoke some really good stuff was my guy. Hustler's Ambition, Thug Motivation, The Recession, Jeezy. Man, Jeezy, man, I don't care who you are. When you listen to Jeezy, you want to go out there and make that money. You want to go out there and make moves, make things happen. Jeezy gives you some kind of, uh, I don't know, some kind of gusto, some kind of confidence. It's just, it's in his voice. And it's, I let my chain hang low, leave that thing up on my way. I mean, it's just, it's, Jeezy just has this thing about him that makes you understand what it is to be out there and making moves, uh, you know, of course, he does trap a dial, this kind of stuff. But being from the South, you can't listen to Jeezy and be like, yo, this guy don't move me. He, something about him just gives you that type of energy. Remember, Jeezy used to always do that. That was it. Hey, hey. You know, that, that was so official when he did it. I love it. I mean, how, how, how much swag is that? To be like, I mean, you know, Wayne at the beginning of his, you hear him, you know, do this little thing. But when you hear Jeezy just do that, hey, that's just, Jeezy said, you don't want to be the smartest motherfucker at the table. That's real. When you're out there trying to make something happen, people, okay? The know-it-all don't know nothing, okay? When you a know-it-all, you know nothing. And it's very true. And if you come to the table and you the smartest one on your team, you the smartest one at the table, how you gonna build? You got what's in your head and you got to where you get only but so far. You need to be surrounded by people that know a little bit more than you, okay? At least you hope they do. You might have a certain direction or vision to do, you know, this thing. But these people that are with you at the table, 
should be able to help you make that thing happen. Jeezy said, you cannot defeat your adversary if you're not disciplined enough to be disciplined. Now Jeezy went on man, to talk about this. Now you think about that. You cannot defeat your adversary if you're not disciplined enough to be disciplined. It sounds crazy. I mean, he's speaking off the cuff. Maybe you might have worded it different if you wrote it down, but that's very real. Having to be disciplined takes discipline. It's actually, it's actually kind of funny, but, um, but it's really true. Jeezy goes on to say, you know, the distractions, there's so many distractions. You know, we're trying to make things happen, making moves. And one of the things he speaks about, especially in the music industry was women. Oh yeah. Or just guys, guys, you know, being out there and being distracted by women far too many times and not getting things done because they're so busy focused on, you know, that girl or, or, or what she's doing or how her body is or what she got on or how they made out. You know, and, it's, and it's just kind of, you stop and think about it, man. To be honest with you, you know, what's really the point? I mean, like, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. The reason why I love this quote is because I have to think about how simple a lot of guys are. Now, don't, don't get offended, fellas. You know, I, you know, don't get offended. We are basically, I hate to say it, we're, we're kind of geared to be a little bit simple. And sometimes that's, that, that makes up the beauty of the, of the world, right? Can everybody be the same? Women are a lot different. They, they're a lot more, you know, they're multi-layered. You know, I'm looking at my daughter right now. My daughter's three. And she already does stuff that I'm telling you, I struggled with when I was 20, 30 years old. Um, it, it's just, uh, it, it's just the way men and women are geared differently. But I'm gonna tell you what, wars, peace, money, material, all these things for men have been brought about because of women. In a lot of ways, and I mean, I don't mean that in a negative or a positive way, it's just a very honest, truthful way. Guys do things for women. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look, yeah, I like to stay, I like to stay conditioned. I like to be ready. My whole thing about being ready is a whole other mindset. We're gonna talk about that a little later on another show. But I like to be, I like to have that. When I was younger, yeah. I, who don't wanna look, you know, look nice, like they got some, you know, got a little something on them for the women, you know, like the ladies to like that, and you know, you do all these type of things, and you know, just give them that, that type of, uh, all that flavor, all that charisma. But see, there again, I'm already doing it. You see what I'm saying? Because so many times guys are distracted. I got distracted just now talking about women. Okay, so the next the next guy that was on the Combat Jack show actually was, was a newcomer for me. I did not know about Jaquavis Colt Coleman. I think I'm saying it right, Jaquavis, Jaquavis? So Jaquavis said, don't chase two rabbits or you end up losing them both. I love that, man, all right? Let me say something about, about, about Jaquavis real quick. Jaquavis has a work ethic that's like supreme. The only, the only person I can kind of say that probably has a work ethic like that, only because I hear about it a lot, is my man uh, Big Sean. You know, Big Sean, like I said before in my other video, Late Nights, well, mixed with Early Days. You know, the whole concept of just getting out there, making moves, hustling, keeping going, grinding, um, working hard at your craft, whatever. Jaquavis Coleman seems to embody that. And just his little, just his interview alone, which was really, really, really motivational. Uh, for somebody, like I said, that I totally hadn't even heard of. Um, Hearing about his story, how he made it to where he is in life, you know, having these these words of advice just just really kind of, you know, got to me. And that one about don't chase two rabbits or you end up losing them both. I love it. It's so exact. Let's just put this towards, I know we just talked about, you know, distracted by women, but let's just put this towards the ladies, right? A lot of guys I know, they, they'll say, okay, well, I'm with this girl, I'm with that girl. You know, if she, she's good at this or she's good at that, and, you know, one of them trip, well, I got the other. Man, it, it ain't, it don't work that way. Trust me. Because if nothing else, let's say they don't find out about each other, okay? The fact that you're not putting your all into something, you're going to lose it. That's what he's trying to tell you. It ain't, let's, let's put that towards, towards work, towards jobs, towards, uh, this one, somebody wrote me, I forget who, who wrote me and said, look, they want to start, there's two companies they want to do. They ain't worked on either one yet, but they want to do two different companies. And then, you know, one day they work on one, the next day they work on the other. You can't, okay? The reason why is because you're not putting enough into one of them. One of them takes enough time as it is, okay? 
So don't do that. You know, go ahead and, and actually he follows he follows that quote up. Focus on one target aggressively. Focus on one target and go after it aggressively. Good God. Aggressively. Okay? Don't just sit back and be like, okay, I'm gonna go this. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm gonna go for that right there. Yeah, just, you know. No, no, no. Go for it. Be able to be like, mm. I mean, go at it. Do your research. Put in the time. Right? Spend the money. Do what you gotta do to make that thing happen. You gotta love that quote right there. Jaquay was cold. He was on point. Now, the next guy was a guy I heard about, but I didn't know much about. Guy goes by name, Brother Ali. Brother Ali, think, I think he has a, uh, he, in fact, I think he's got an album about to drop or already dropped. All the beauty in this whole life, I believe that's what it's called. Um, Brother Ali is actually good friends with my homie, Amir Suleiman. Brother Ali said, you have to know what it feels like to be jacked up. And if you don't, you can't help. Dude, that is so true. You can't, listen, find mentors that have lived a seasoned life, a decorated life. All right, so my last guy I'm gonna talk about for right now, is, it was, it's so many I could talk about, but one that, that I just heard actually yesterday, Charlemagne the God. Charlemagne the God, decorated guy. A lot of people, you might know him from Breakfast Club. Uh, a lot of people have different views on Charlemagne the God, but one thing that's undeniable is the guy is a media giant right now. He's just, he's everywhere and in everything. Um, Charlamagne the God has a show, Brilliant Idiots, that's also on the Loudspeakers Network. Um, so that's how I know a little bit more about him by listening to Combat Jack show. And I and I love I love this quote by Charlamagne the God because this is man, listen. I don't I don't want to tell you anybody, but I, I know this for a fact. He says a lot of people don't recognize opportunity if there's not a paycheck attached to it. A lot of people don't recognize opportunity if there isn't a paycheck attached to it. Do you get what I'm trying to say with you? Right now, listen, a lot of people will say, oh man, you know, that's a good, that's that's cool, you know, that what you offer me and everything, but you ain't paying me, so guess what? No money, they don't, if, they, if they don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Peace, I'm out. Man, what? Are you serious? Sometimes, man, listen, there are jobs that I will do for free. What I mean by free is no money, no pay. Simply because you gotta think about what it takes to get where you're trying to go sometimes. Networking, um, networking is key. But just to be able to work with certain people or be around those people and just take in what they got, it's, it's not all about the dollar. If it's about the dollar only, you you got an uphill battle. I mean, I'm being honest with you. you, you you're gonna be one of the few. It's like trying to play for the NFL or the NBA or something. I mean, you might wanna be one of the few that can be focused on money and really become, become successful because a lot of times you gotta understand there's a bigger picture, okay? There's a lot of people out there that will give you opportunity in life, but they might can't pay you anything. And I know for me, for dad going short, sure, let's get made. Man, you kidding me? I was just starting to join out, okay? I was just getting ready when Catch was already saying, hey man, hit me, you know, can I, I need to get this, need to get that. That's, yeah, you know? And, then, and to be honest with you, sometimes I even did. It's just simply because you think that's what you should do. People don't respect this unless you're paying them or whatever, right? Now, there was, there was some real ones. I'm gonna go and shout at my homies right now. Bobby Bands, Chris Franklin. Those cats, whatever. Mac, let's get this thing done. Let's move, let's get made. Those some real guys right there. I'm being honest with you. I'm giving you what I know. You have no idea how far that can take you. The people you can meet, the connects you can make, the things you can do, the places you can go. Trust me. Don't worry, don't be worried about that dollar. Money, people would say this. People that, that have made money will be able to tell you this. Money is a current, all right? It comes and it goes. But you have to, you have to allow that to happen, right? You gotta give to get. It's just, it's just one of those things. Flow with it. Like Bruce Lee say, be like water. Another good piece of information given by Charlemagne the God is you are not as good as they say you are. You are not as bad as they say you are. Very true. People gonna talk. Man, trust me, if, I, if, if anybody knows, I know. If you're doing YouTube right now, any of y'all that either are doing YouTube or wanna do YouTube, you better have some thick skin. I don't care, actually now, forget it. YouTube, Instagram, whatever you're doing. When you post something up, you better have some thick skin, all right? 
Silly because there's gonna be people that are gonna say, oh man, you know, it's horrible, you know? Forget it, it's terrible, I hate it. Which is so crazy, all I gotta do is just not look at it or unsubscribe or whatever. I, I don't know, people just, they like to complain and it's just, it gives them something. Um, and you have other people that's gonna give you a lot of praise for doing what you do. And uh, oh my guy, you just saved my life. And wow, that, you know, that feels really good, but I don't think I really did that much, but you know. This is just what I got. These are only a few of the gems I got. Some of the best advice I ever heard from the Combat Jack show. Um, like I said, it's one of my favorite podcasts. I listen to about, I don't know, maybe five or six more podcasts, but this is just one I wanted to give you. Just because, man, I wanna put you on to something new. But as we all know right here, right now, on Best Man Made, boys are born, but men are made. We'll see you next time. <laughs>